Hindi ko alam kung babati ba ang good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> Kasi grabe, ang sarap ng tulog ko. Nakakalo ka. Five hours akong tulog. Ganun ako kapagod today. Wala pag gumawa ka na, guys. Life update. Gusto kong i-vlog tong um, era ng life ko dahil I wanna go back to this moment in the future and see if nag-succeed ba ako or nag-fail. Huwag naman po sana. But I'm just excited for the next phases to come. I am launching my business! excited ko. Kung alam nyo lang yung excitement na naramdaman ko, hindi ko siya maput into exact words. But I'm super, 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 super excited about this. And kaya puyat na puyat ako. Dalawang oras lang yung tulog ko kagabi. It's because ang dami kong ginagawa for the business. This business of mine is really my passion. Alam nyo na yan. Hindi makeup up guys. Pero baka, in the future, <laughs> I'm launching my coffee business. I am gonna launch um, a cart, a coffee cart for events, for bazaar, for now. But in the future, I'm hoping that it's gonna turn out to be a cafe. Yun talaga yung long-term goal ko. Pero dahil sa budget constraint and time constraint, um, limit muna natin sa kaya ng pagkatao ko, oo, which is for events and bazaar muna. Kung friend ko kayo or kung kailala nyo ako, alam nyo yun, Sobrang adik ko sa kape. Mawala na yung tubig, wag lang yung kape. <laughs> Natutuwa yun, guys. Hindi ko kayang mawala yung kape. Sa kahit isang araw, I tried it. Tinry ko siyang i-fasting. Diba pag sa fasting, you sacrifice something na you, you love. And most of us, hindi natin kaya mawala is food. But for me, hindi ko kayang mawala yung kape. Kaya ko mawala yung cook. I've tried it. Kaya ko hindi mag-cook in a day. Pero yung kape, hindi ko talaga kaya. Ganun, ganun ko kang mahal yung kape at ganun siya nakabind sa pagkatao ko. Feeling ko pag dinextrust nyo ako, kape yung lalabas. Anyway, I'm launching my business. Hopefully in January, yun yung target ko na launching date. And symbolic siya for me because yung first part nitong year, it's, it's one of the worst seasons. It's one of the worst seasons in my life. Hindi one of the worst. It, it's really the worst year of my life. The year started with a breakup. May nangyari pa sa, sa family. Act, prior to breakup, nawalan pa ako ng isang client. Na, ang laki ng sweldo na yun. Na parang nasa two-thirds ng sweldo ko yun. And sobrang devastated ko kasi last year, ba't ako naiiyak? <laughs> Time yak si Is, matatang tayo. <laughs> Charis. Anyway, so, may kling kwento lang. Nung 2023, last quarter of 2023, so, nag-budget ako, di ba? Ako yung, ako yung taong nakaplano yung buong taon ng expenses ko. Meron talaga akong monthly expenses. Para lang malaman kung ano ba tong year na to, um, makakabag-ipon ba tayo? Meron ba tayong goals, financial goals? Alam mo yun, so may mga binabayaran din ako, so kailangan ko talagang i-manage yung expenses ko. And living alone, nalaman nyo na ako magkana expenses ko. Minimum expenses for me to live alone here in Manila. Ang gastos talaga, so nakaplano yung budget ko. So last year, last quarter of last year, nakita ko na yung 2024 ko na finances. And sobrang saya ko kasi... Finally, I get to save for my business. Sobrang tagal ko na talagang gustong mag-business. Two years ago ko pang gustong mag-business. Pero I don't have the luxury of time and the money to do it. And then God blessed me with with an extra client last year. So, kaya siya ng finances ko. So, pinlap ko yung 2024 ko na finances na ito yung may ipon ko considering my, my, my income. Sobrang excited ko last year na mag-ipon for this business. Tapos, naiyak ako, guys. Tapos, December last year, nawala yung client ko na yun. As in, very abrupt siya. Bakit mainit dito sa kwarto? I'll be back. Going back. Kumalma tayo, Ziz. Huwag tayong umiyak. Wah! 
last year, December of last year, nung wala yung client na yun. So, imagine mo kung gaano ka broken hearted ako. Kasi pinlano ko yung 2024 for, for the business. Sobrang excited ko na yun. Ano yun? Na-foresee ko na yun. Ito na yun, Lord! Tapos nawala yung, nawala yung client ko na yun. Tapos hindi ko alam, eh, two-thirds yun ang salary. Kasi kung matitira na lang one-third, so, paano, Lord? Paano ko yun gagawin? Sabi ko, gusto ko pa ng ganitong business. Tapos, nag, nag, nagbabayad ako ng sarili kong expenses. Ayoko naman maging pabigat sa, sa iba, sa pamilya ko, sa magulang. So, hindi ko na talaga alam. December yon Nung nag-January, ibang heartbreak naman. <laughs> So, ang lala talaga ng first quarter ko this year. This year really is really the worst year of my life. I, I underwent a breakup. And then I had to leave my spiritual home. We can do it. Matatapos tong vlog na to. I had to tra transfer somewhere to start over, reset, revive my faith, my spirit. So, fast forward na natin, no? Ang, ang lala talaga ng, ng taon na to. Ng first part ng taon na to. So, after the breakup and me living the my spiritual home, I was praying to the Lord. Kasi, hindi ko talaga alam paano ba matatawid ang mga expenses natin on on this, di ba? Na living tayo alone. Tapos, girl, paano one-third na lang yung salary? Eh, dito sa Manila, yung salary ko na nakukuha from that local company. Enough lang siya as in for my basic expenses. Yung rent, yung grocery, yung bills, yung mga ibang bagay. Grab transport. Sobrang, alam mo yung, ano, yung tight-fisted ako pag yun lang yung income ko. Natawid naman for, for ilang, for ilang months. Kasi mga, I think, March na, ng time na yun. Tapos, lahat ng credit card ko, alam mo yung minimum na lang binabayaran ko. Hindi ko na nababayaran yung buo. Ang lala talaga. Feeling ko, I was so alone this year. Na even God himself left me. So, if, yung load ko talaga, yung, yung seeking ko from the Lord, sobrang. This is the worst year of my life, but also, it's the best year with the Lord because this has been my closest moment with Him. Sabi ko vlog to yung DMMK, Zizzed! Ang ganda-ganda ng bati mo kanina, ba't umiiyak tayo? But anyway, so ayun na nga. I prayed to the Lord na, Lord, I can't, I can't ask help from my family kasi ang dami din nalang pinagdadaanan this season na I can't share in the vlog. So, ayoko na maging pabigat at hindi ko na talaga alam kung paano ba ako mabubuhay? <laughs> Literal. Paano ba ako mabubuhay for the next few months? Kasi ang galing, alam mo yun, God really knows when to answer you. And at hindi lang yun overnight prayer. Ah. Ang tagal. Ang tagal kong ilan tayo yung sagot na yun. Tapos ang dami ko din rejections na, na receive because ever since December pa lang, nung 2023, nag-aas nga kay ng, ng pal, kapal, kal, kapalit ng word na yun. Ng kapalit ng work na yun. Tapos, may mga nakukuha naman ako agad. That's the beauty of being a VA. Mabilis kayo nakukuha ng client. So, nakakuha ako agad. Nag-interview ako, nag-assessment ako, nag-final interview na ako with the bosses. Tapos, sobrang positive nung, yung feedback. Alam mo, yung sobrang gustong-gusto ka nila. Tapos, biglang, for some weird reason, parang galit sa akin yung universe talaga, na biglang magbabank out. Tatlong clients daw, ah. Tatlong clients. So, tatlong rejection yung experience ko. Nag-bank out sila lahat because... Biglang nagbago ng direction yung company. Biglang nagbago yung isip niya. Parang ipopost niya muna yung hiring. Parang ako, ano pang heartbreak yung darating sa akin this year? Ano pa talaga? Feeling ko sobrang wasa ako nung first part ng year. I felt like I lost everything. I lost myself. I lost finances. I lost my faith. I lost spiritual family. I lost friends. I lost loved ones. So, ang dami ko talagang losses sa start ng taon. Come April, and second quarter na. Woo, thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord of the seasons talaga. So, come second quarter, 
God blessed me with a new client. And the good thing about it, mas malaki yung compensation niya dun sa nawala ko na work. <laughs> tapos, ano, tapos sobrang bait ng boss, sobrang flexible ng hours, though night shift siya. Come April, nagbawi ako ng mga debts kasi ang dami ko talagang credit card debts nung time na yun. Kahit nga sa mga kapatid ko, may, may utang ako, ganong level. Mahal talaga mamuhay dito sa Maynila alone. So, hindi talaga siya high ng expenses ko. So, ang dami ko talagang utang nung time na. So, nagbeda ko ng utang nung second quarter. And I was able to pay naman. Thank you, Lord, for that. Tapos, third quarter, hello, okay na. Ganyan, so, nag, nag, ayun na naman. Alam mo, yung pagbubuksan ko yung, yung, yung Excel sheet ko for for my finances for next year. Na, for me, may trauma na ako. No? Paplat na naman ako, Lord. Tapos, biglang hindi na naman. Then, dumating na ang September. Gusto ko lang sabihin sa kung sino mang naglilista ng mga Warriors for this year. Pakitanggal naman po ako sa listahan. Parang na naman na awa. <laughs> Kidding aside, so, come September, eto namang natira kong work. Diba yung one-third ng salary ko last year? Yung natira kong local client. Biglang kinausap ng boss. Ilalay off na daw nila ako. Though, nararamdaman ko nyo kasi medyo nagkakaroon ng financial crisis din yung company. January pa lang. Tapos si, my boss really tried to keep me in my position. Nilaban niya talaga ako, pero hindi na kaya talaga din. So, kinausap na nila ako that ilalay off na nila ako. But, but, babayaran nila yung every year of every year ko with a one month salary. So, medyo malaki yung mokuha ko. So, ako medyo Hala na naman ba? Heartbreak na naman ba to, Lord? Going back. So, nung na-receive ko yung news na yun, syempre nalungkot ako, no? Pero hindi ganun ka ka shaken yung pakila, pakiramdam ko. Pero yun nga, inisip ko na naman, lo, ano yung business? Paano yung ano, delay, madidelay na naman siya, Lord? Ano ba to? Alam mo yung pakiramdam na You're fighting for it. Tinatry mong maging hopeful, maging faithful, but parang lag, lag, yung universe again sa'yo. Ganong, ganong pakiramdam. Pero I felt peace from the Lord na I got you, my child. I will not leave you nor, nor forsake you. Even if the world has left you. Even if everyone leaves you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. So, yun talaga yung pinakawakan ko kay God. I felt peace from the Lord. Tapos, yung isip ko na lang na, sige, this season, baka talagang gusto kong pagpahingahin ni God. So, talagang nagpahinga ako. Doon, syempre, naghanap ako ng, ng new client, no? Naghanap ako ng new work. Tinake ko na lang tong season na to as a rest from the Lord. Tapos, alam mo yung may urge sa akin si God na make use of what you have. Kahit maliit yan, make use of it. Just do it. Take the risk. Kung kilala nyo ko, hindi talaga ako risk taker. Kaya hirap na hirap ako mag-start up ng business. Kaya ang laki nung gusto kong i-save for the business. Kasi hindi ako risk, risk. Hindi ako risk taker. Dapat yung bawat galaw ko is kalkulado siya. In my personal life, in my finances, in all aspects of my life, dapat kalkulado siya somehow. Not 100%, of course, di ko, ano ko, manghuhula? Hindi ko na mapapredict yung mga mangyayari sa akin. But at least, I get to see the two sides of the spectrum. Alam mo yun, yung pag na ito yung nangyari, dapat ito yung gagawin ko. Pag ito yung nangyari, dapat. May ganun akong mga ano, thinking strategy. Wah. Pero nga, alam mo, pinamuka din sa akin ni, ni God this year. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it's the will of the Lord that prevails. And ang galing, alam mo yung talagang pinush ako ni God, sige na magsimula ka na. Pag di ka pa nagsimula ngayon, di mo talaga yun masisimulan. Just make use of whatever you have, I'll bless it. So bahala ka na Lord ah. So nag-start na ako, tapos edi nag-research na ako, ano yung mga dapat kong gawin. Nilista ko na yung mga tasks to do ko for this coffee business. Ang prayer ko talaga kay God is that He will surround me with the right connection, with the right people. Yung, 
tulungan niya ako in every decision kasi at the moment feeling ko hindi ko mapagkatiwalaan yung sarili ko sa mga decisions. Feeling ko kasi magfe-fail ako. Feeling ko nagfe-fail na naman ako. Feeling ko failure na naman na failure naman talaga ako. But the Lord has been faithful and he really has been my strength in times of my weakness. I Minsan mean, kailangan mo lang talaga mag-obey and then you leave the rest to the Lord. So, nag-training ako sa isang friend kasi yung friend ko na yun, um, they own a cafe, mag-asawa sila. And nag-start lang sila with a very, very maliit na ang konyo. Ang baba lang ng puhunan nila, parang 5,000 nga daw. They started that coffee business with just cold brew. And alam mo, yung templa nung barista na yun, mas gusto ko pa siya kaysa dun sa isa sa malalaking coffee shop dito sa Pilipinas. Tapos ayun nga, sabi ko sa kanya, Uy, sis! Yung, yung wife naman yung kausap ko. Sabi ko, sis, pwede ba tayong mag-date? Ganyan, ganyan. Kasi gusto ko sanang uh, ano to, magpatulong sa business, paano mag-umpisa, bla bla bla, kasi maliit nga lang yung puhunan na meron ako. Tapos, yun nga na, na, na chat, na kwento niya na, oh, kami nga 5K lang eh, buti nga may ganyan kang amount. So, igo mo na yan, sis. Alam mo, lumakas naman yung loob ko. Tapos, habi ko nga, magte-training nga ako lang, ano, ng barista, and how to open um, a cafe. Sobrang hesitant kung nandun na ako sa click na enroll now. Hindi ko talaga maklik-click yung enroll kasi hindi talaga ako nagte-take ng risk, girl. Tapos, yun nga rin, nakausap ko yung si Sis. Sabi niya, oy, nag-offer kami ng training, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos ako parang, oh, sige, game ako dyan. Kasi ito, sold out ako na... Alam ko yung skill nito, alam ko yung timpla niya ng kape. Pareho kami ng, ng taste sa kape. So, sabi ko, go ako mag-training. So, ayun na nga, barista training ako sa kanila. I'm so, so, so happy and grateful sa mag-asawa na yun. Kung nanonood sila, manasan, salamat po. <laughs> ayan, and they get to help me unlimited sa mga, pag may mga questions ako sa operations, pag may mga question ako sa machines, anong machine yung bibili ko. As in, yung may nakakausap ako, that's also one of my prayer, eh, di ba? That the Lord will surround me with the right connection. So, eto, at least nang may makakausap ko about the business, may pwede akong pagtanungan, may pwede akong paglabasan ng rant. <laughs> ang galing lang. Ang galing lang ng timing ni God. And so, I'm launching my coffee business by January. And I hope you guys will support yung mobile business na yun. It's also one of my passion to serve people with a good tasting coffee. Alam ng mga tao bumibisita dito sa bahay yan. Kapag bibisita sila dito, pag tinampli ako talaga sila ng kape. It's also my joy when I serve and accommodate people dito sa bahay and serve them the coffee. Tapos pag narinig mo yung coffee, uy, ang sarap ng kape mo! Ganyan, ganyan. Tumatalon yung puso ko. It's really my passion. Coffee is really my passion. Sabi ko sa'yo, mawala na yung tubig. Huwag lang talaga yung kape. So, I am so excited for the next phases of my life and my business. And I know, siguro may mga ma-experience ako hindi maganda. Failures, maybe. It's just one thing that I want to share to all of you. Na you will never really be ready for a failure. You will never really be ready for a heartache. You will never really be ready for a surprise or an attack. But you will be strong enough to face them, especially when the Lord is with you. So, kung papanoorin mo man to self, <laughs> gusto ko lang sabihin sa'yo na keep the faith, be strong in the Lord, and you have a Father in Heaven that you can truly rely on. Documenting this era of my life because I wanna go back to this moment in the future when my faith and my life is shaken again that I get to be grateful and bless the Lord still. So ayun, alam ko mahaba na tong vlog but thank you for um, staying with me for watching this and I hope, I hope, I hope you will support my business kapag na-launch na siya. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next vlog. Bye!